Indian Textiles India is the second largest producer of fiber in the world and the major fiber produce is cotton. Other fibers produced in India include silk, jute, wool and man-made fibers. 60% of the Indian textile industry is cotton based. Cotton and silk are the most widely used fibers in in traditional fabrics like Kanjivaram sarees, Pochapalli, etc. Handloom fabrics like khadi are also quite popular. Techniques Handwoven or handloom textiles. Most of Indian weaves are weft faced. Assam textiles. Fabrics from Assam include the handwoven fabrics of cotton, moga, pat, mulberry silk, and eri indi. The weavers of Assam weave beautiful designs on the borders of their mehkalas, chadars, riyas, traditional garment used by women, and gas moas, towels. History Assam is well known for the production of high quality silk since ancient times. The craft of weaving goes along with the production of silk. The knowledge of sericulture probably arrived with the Tibetio Burman groups, which arrived from China. Huan Sang records refer to the use and trade of Assami silk. The background of Assamese culture states that the Kairatas and early Mangalore trades in Assam were traders in silk, a word that was derived from the Mongolian origin word silkik. The Indian word sari is probably derived from the same word. J. G. O. Hengen in his book Silk in India states that it is the Kairatas who introduced the cultivation of silk with the different varieties in Assam, and it is from Assam that silk was later introduced. Assamese literature, Assamese, also called Assamia, is an Indo-Aryan language influenced by the Indo-Aryans, Hinduism and Sanskritization, very prominent that reflected in their culture. According to various literature, including the great epic Mahabharata and local folklore, the people of Assam lived under the Himalayas in the era before the Jesus Christ. Assamese silk weavers depicted the scenes from Mahabharata and Ramayana. Designs and motifs in Assamese textiles. Most of the designs and motifs in Assamese textiles are inspired by nature, such as flowers, leaves, plants, animals, and landscapes that were woven as motifs or borders in their traditional garments like Mahekala Chadars. Some of them were carried out as geometric and abstract designs that were usually as fine silver thread embroidery called the kerchief work which is in practice from the Mughal rule. The small diamond motif with the dot in the center is a very common design. Some of the traditional motifs include Jappi, Meri, Ghost Bhatta and Kabutur. Muga, the most expensive silk. The growing of Muga is very rare these days. About 8,000 silk cocoons are required to make one Muga silk sari and it takes about two months to weave one sari. The price of an original Muga sari can vary from Rs. 10,000 to 1 lakh 50,000. Support Indian Handloom India has a prominent position in the world textile and apparel industry. The state of Assam has a long-standing heritage of weaving. The auspicious Vrindavani Vastra 
first woven during the 16th century is a symbol of this traditional weaving culture. With this already strong base, Assam is a prime region for investments in the handloom and textile sector. The state's handloom pockets of Shualkuchi, Vijayanagar, Lakhimpur, Kukuya in Nalbari, Kachua in Nagao and many others are home to more than 14 lakh weavers and 16.43 lakh handloom workers. With various infrastructure development schemes available, private investors have ready access to skilled manpower and robust infrastructural support. The handloom and textile sector in Assam is well supported by various centrally sponsored schemes which provide further support to the state textile ecosystem. Promotion and marketing initiatives like handloom expos and national and international trade fairs recognized even by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi have also boosted this sector immensely. Upcoming projects like the apparel and garment making center in Guwahati also provide fresh large-scale investment opportunities. Assam is the only region in the world producing all the four commercially important silks. It holds a global monopoly in the production of Mugga, the golden silk unique to this region and is the third largest producer of Vanya silk, Ari, Mugga and Tassar in the country. Besides producing substantial amount of mulberry silk, there is also a great potential for jute textiles with the state producing about 770 bales of jute every year. A new and modified handloom policy in addition to an investor-friendly textile and apparel policy have been drawn up by the government to attract large-scale investments. With a growing market in the ASEAN, a strong apparel industry in Bangladesh and the state's traditional strengths the handloom and textile sector in Assam is poised to attract major investments. Opportunities also exist for investing in the handicraft sector with availability of skilled workforce and an abundance of raw materials like bamboo, wood, ratan. Traditional handicraft items like the famed masks from Majuli, largely crafted from bamboo, wood and paper also contribute to the handicrafts industry. Ease of doing business, an efficient single window clearance mechanism, a highly skilled workforce, investor friendly policies and a stable and visionary leadership at the helm adds to the huge investment potential present in the state. We welcome you to come and be a part of this remarkable journey of growth and development in Assam.